Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's matchup will be Bretonia taking on the High Elves. I will be commanding Bretonia. We're going to be playing on Volksgrad and Black Phillip will be commanding the forces of the High Elves. And yeah, let's we'll get right into it. I should probably start the battle when it's already like loaded in. Yeah, that's all I'll do from now on. But yeah, so Army comps is going to be three peasant mob leading my front line, along with some men at arms, about six of them. Some shielded, some not. And I have two spearmen at arms, each flank, or on each flank. Two grail guardians and the grail knights over here. And we have the fae bringing all her buffs, earth blood, healing, all that good stuff. We have the two paladins, which is just necessary in this matchup. We have... A blessed field trebuchet which is just great because they'll be able to get rid of his archers uh, we have Knights of the Lionhearted and more Grail Knights for the forces of Black Phillip he has one Illyrian Reaver it looks like three silver helms with shields a star dragon techless on foot uh, not foot but on his steed five spearmen and three regular archers to round off his forces so let's get right into it oh he has the one illyrian reaver so he has two illyrian reavers no idea didn't know where these guys were i just thought this was his army i gotta take it out let's reposition myself you know i actually didn't know he had these okay i guess they didn't really impact the game that much but yeah Yeah, I'm just gonna get position. Um, we're gonna just constantly bombard him as we take like quite a bit of models from him. Looks like maybe eight, eight models killed right there. How much kills? Oh yeah, I don't have the unit cards up. Yeah, I should do that as well. But yeah, I'm gonna come to this side. He's gonna think I see these, and he's gonna just try and react. I don't know what. Hmm. We'll see how it pays off, cause. If he tries to attack these Grail Knights and Grail Guardians, uh, yeah, it's not going to be a good day for him. Yeah, but he does eventually pull back. Frontlines are about to clash, getting my guys ready, and Peasant Mob are going to begin to charge in right now. Here comes some minute arms as well. And right now we're just going to get in there. We're going to hold the front lines for as long as we can. I'm going to try to squeeze these guys through these little gaps. Gaps. And try and get in his uh, secondary line. His Alarian Reavers on this side are just sitting here. So are they are on this side. I think he's waiting for me to not recognize that something's going to come from behind and try to get my artillery. Because that's the only range I have. Sure. Yeah, I probably should have brought more range. Like, maybe like three archers or something. But yeah. Um, Grail Guardians diving in as well against the Spearmen. They're gonna do some good work. Um, now the Star Dragon flying overhead. Getting decent breath attack on my knights. Riding off one of my Pissim Mob. Yep, and here comes the Larian Reavers. I don't, I don't see them because I'm not really paying attention to them. I'm paying attention to this huge fight that needs, that, that I need to do. So like right here, I was like focused right here. Like this is all I saw. I didn't see nothing else but this, and I was just like, mm -hmm. I didn't see these two units, <laughs> which is gonna be a mistake because now he's gonna get a good charge off on my trebuchet because he's gonna punish me. But at least I have a unit helping protect this. But yeah, good, good <laughs> cat, good overcast of the net. And Earth Blood going down on these guys. We're gonna be healing them. Uh, these two, I'm gonna finally. I think I'm gonna finally see this, and I'm gonna turn my cap around and I'm gonna go attack these guys. Or I don't see it until a little bit, but I eventually do see this, and then I turn my cap around. But yeah, I think these two are gonna react to the peasant and he's doing a good job of breaking my formation it's not looking really good for me but i still have the paladins and the fey still have you the... and they're just like 
have almost full health, yeah. They're just really, really healthy. And more of my units are coming back. Trebuchet crew coming back as well. And netted arms are holding the line against these Illyrian Reavers. Not doing the best job because they're just peasants, you know. But now I'm going to see it and I'm going to be like, oh, what the heck? And I'm going to pull these two units of cav over and we're going to go engage with them. Probably not an engagement he wants to take, but I'm going to force this engagement. And I'm going to get there right before he can react. We fight as and yeah, that's basically a one unit wiped out there. But yeah, infantry is going to come back in. A uh, good flock of doom going down by Black Zilla. It's going to do quite a bit of damage towards my men at arms. It's a big clump of troops. Uh, nice breath, nice breath attack going down. Uh, not the best, but it got like what four men at arms and like two knights or so. But yeah, that unit got absolutely deleted. Now I'm going to use these guys going back to the front. I'm going to cycle charge. Uh, we're going to see this unit over here. We're going to go take it out because he's going to try to loop around again and wants to try and take out my trebuchet here or chase out routing units. So I'm going to pull these guys over to intercept. Uh, infantry line is actually <laughs> just kind of beating the crap out of these skin. They're doing a great job. And they did more than I expected, to be honest. Just especially with the support of the cab, they're doing a great job. But yeah, we're going to see this. Faye Chantry is getting super low. Head of Vanvitok going down on her, and I'm going to have to commit all my calves because this is this is a fight I need to get the Van Chantry's back. Because if I don't, it's kind of game over for me. Uh, but I still have these knights, and I'm going to see if I can get into this back line. Just try and disturb these archers, because I don't want them focus firing on my, my Faye. But Faye is routing, and she's at really low health, and this is not looking really good for me he still has a pretty decent sized archer core techless is at almost eh, close to half health and it's yeah it's pretty bad right now and the fade goes down which really sucks and it's gonna hurt my leadership big time but yeah i still have quite a bit of units I still have a bunch of cabs with the two power which will give me some leadership but yeah and he does a big misplay and and gives and put the techless right here, and I'm just gonna kill him. I'm gonna say payback time. Payback time. If you kill my general, I'll kill your general. And we're just gonna jump on him. Uh, Star Dragon coming into support, but the Star Dragon isn't gonna do that much. It's, yeah, techless is not on the bird, so he's not gonna be too tanky. And I have a bunch of anti large targets, like the Paladins and the Grail Knights. So yeah, techless is gonna go down, and. Yeah, that's gonna turn the game around towards me as the balance of power just completely turns into my favor. And yeah, he has depleted units of Illyrian Reavers, Star Dragons at half health, and his archers are terror routed or shattered, sorry. But yeah, and the dragon's about to go down as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna clump in because he has no spells and can't do anything about it. So that was a good game. Oh, whoops. And yeah, I, uh, actually, this build is just kind of meta right now, towards high elves. It's just a great build to bring. Um, for for Black Phillip, yeah, this is basically what you want to bring. Maybe some more Illyrian Reavers or something like that. But yeah, totally meta. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more content. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.